You might be thinking to yourself, Tom, why partnerships? They take me too much time, they've delivered me hardly any revenue, and I've blown a lot of my capital trying to get them to work. Well, I think in 2024 and 2025, it's probably the only leverage you've got and where your focus should be in your go-to-market strategy. We are here today. Outside of the city of monopolies, New York City. And I'm gonna tell you why we're creating Counterpart OS. We want value creators, those founders out there, to beat the extractors. Speed isn't rewarded in a B2B partnership sales process, patience is. We want to give you a model to beat the monopoly, to use your unfair advantage, to make sure you must always find the right counterpart and you'll both get to this eight-figure partnership. A thousand founders doing one eight-figure deal for a billion dollars, and that's our target. But don't just believe me. Let me go through a few things that might change the way you think about how you're going to sell in 2024 and 2025. Selling right now, you could probably use LinkedIn. Right, LinkedIn, you now pay for sponsored ads, but it's getting harder and harder to get anyone to get back to you. So you have to spend more time into content, more time into follow-up content, more time trying to get to the right person because people don't even use it anymore. Are you really, really, really gonna make money off LinkedIn? You probably can, but it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. So I think LinkedIn is out in 2024 and 2025. Look at that, done. Okay. LinkedIn, best tool for B2B outreach. It's out, unless you want to spend a shitload of time on content, whether you're doing it or someone's doing it for you. So what's in? Well, you could go to conferences. Conferences always give you a few nuggets. But it's pay to play too. And it's pay to play without the outcome. You don't know if you're going to meet anyone. You don't know if anyone's going to come to your booth. And you definitely don't know if anyone's going to come after you after your talk and ask you some tough questions and they could be a customer. Most of my dealings at conferences, I made hardly any money. It was a waste of time. All the deals happened around the conference and I was a newbie, no one was coming to me. So for me, conferences, although they're nice and they make you feel good, they're out too. So if you haven't got an outreach tool or on social networking or any advertising in the social space, because content's too hard, and you don't want to pay expensive conferences because you can't get anyone to talk to you or you don't even know where the deals are happening, then you do have one tool, and it's salespeople. Here's the problem. We're in a downturn. In a downturn, A players perform really well. B players barely deliver any results, and C players just get laid off. Not like in an upswing when all of those three can make money. So what does that mean for you as a small little startup trying to break into the United States or just trying to get past 10 million in revenue? Well, you can't afford the A player because they've got the pick of the litter of where they can work and their incentive schemes. And you also can't attract them because you're not scalable yet. You haven't worked out how their thing that they do matches to what they earn and it's not repeatable. So you're not going to get them. B players, you can't afford. And C players, you shouldn't hire them. So you might find, well, I'm gonna execute on all these three things anyway, and you're wrong, Tom. Well, let me tell you what's gonna happen now that we know that salespeople aren't probably the best thing for you right now in a downturn. You're probably gonna end up with C players having no results on LinkedIn, so therefore going to conferences and getting no leads that generate real revenue as a trusted advisor down to a discovery level. Now you can do all of that, and you can waste all your dollars on these people, and people are going to keep telling you to do it. So you give up more equity, you raise more capital. Especially for those that are past five million in revenue, they're really going to get you there. So what can you do in 2024 and 2025 to avoid this? Well, you could do B2B revenue share partnerships. Why B2B partnerships? And why do it in 2024 and 2025? Really, really simple. A great B2B partner can get you straight to discovery. No need for salespeople to open the door, no need for LinkedIn to get the meetings for salespeople, and no need for conferences when those things fail. All of that, they can take the burden, and you can do something called a co-sell and build a revenue share joint offer. All of that sounds crazy. Is it possible? Yes. I got my business from six million in revenue to over 38 million 
just with B2B partnerships and a very, very small sales team in a similar situation. Now, you might be saying, Tom, but I thought you fucking hated monopolies and big companies. Oh, no, no, I hate monopolies, but I love the outcome of monopoly, which is there are other big companies that are bleeding market share or trying to knock another monopoly out. And that is your moment as a founder to use your unfair advantage to help them gain market share. And if they can see that, they will give you the salespeople, they will give you the access and their reach, and they will get you to the conference and it won't cost you a dime, they'll pay you for it because they need your unfair advantage and they need you to co-sell with them so they can gain back that market position, shake the monopoly themselves and increase their revenue.